Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Prime 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. Alright, so last episode we finally brought the Russians into the conflict against the Japanese, allowing us to attack from their territory. I uh, went ahead and already did a little bit of air force management off camera, also kind of rearranged the uh, the armies, of course the little names here don't make sense anymore, but who cares at this point. Just kind of rearranged them uh, based on uh, what makes sense for us here. Also you notice we don't have uh, any more uh, units in this army because of the, you know, in our garrison army because we lost all those those Russian divisions, so that's kind of a problem, but you know what, I'm not going to concern myself with it. Uh, I also went ahead and rearranged all the generals too, so that our battle generals are in the armies that are actually on the frontier. Uh, so yeah, everything's pretty much uh, done for here, except for a couple things. What I did want to go ahead and do is put these tanks into this army right here. I'm going to get them up to full 24. It's going to take them a while because they're all the way in Europe, but yeah, they'll get here eventually. All right, uh, so we're winning right there, uh, and I'm just going to let that keep going, try and get across the river there. Um, we'll take a look at the air situation here in a second, uh, because I did assign a bunch of new fighters, uh, jet fighters, to locations, and want to see how that's going to have an effect. Uh, so I just want to get this wind done real quick, and then we'll, we'll take a look at that. And it is going to be kind of hard to get across here, um, because of the, the river penalty, but yeah, they're just not moving troops fast enough. There we go, excellent. All right, so we got our troops here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the air real quick now. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we were able to, to do that. And we are uh, bombing uh, the Japanese fleet and sinking convoys as well. All right, so let's see how things are going. Uh, still, obviously, the home islands we cannot seize control of. Uh, Manchuria, we're yellow now. As you see, I, I did put like a ton more jet fighters here. Uh, and I did pull the fighters out of uh, these areas right over here and the ones that I, some of the ones I had here as well. Uh, and they are pushing us back here, that Russian division, uh, which is unfortunate because we lost that fort. Uh, but yeah, because we lost control of those Russian divisions, uh, it just caused some issues. Uh, and let's not do that. All right, so again, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we're controlling all these different fronts, so it is going to be kind of slow going, I'm sure. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over this way. And let's see what else we can do up along here. We'll keep on attacking there. Again, I don't want to attack too much on this front because, uh, remember, we're trying to cut troops off. And they do have fortifications all the way around here. They are level 2 forts, so they're not high-level forts, but still uh, still fortifications that we have to attack into. Uh, we could get a probably a fairly easy win here, so let's go and attack right there, and then we'll just support with all the surrounding troops here. It's going to be across a river and into a fort, so having a lot of divisions there I think would be a good idea. And uh, now that we're across here, we're just waiting for the rest of the division so we can start pushing forward here. Uh, and I don't really care about protecting or having the tanks all across here, so let's just have them here just kind of protecting the, uh, uh, these guys from getting cut off. And let's just go ahead and attack immediately. And uh, we're going to have some problems there, but yeah, let's just attack with everybody. All right. Let's see what we can do there. Uh, and they did kick us from the faction again. Uh, they're going to continue to do that, or uh, whatever. Uh, we had two choices on how we were going to deal with that. We could either, you know, just stay out of the Allies with all the issues and advantages you'd get from that, or we can just keep on uh, rejoining them and then just give up control of the Russian troops, is what, which is what we decided to do. I'm um, just not going to control the Russian troops. They can control them themselves. They'll get better supply that way anyways. So there's some advantages to letting the Russians control their own divisions. All right, so getting all our troops over to here. And uh, you guys can stay right there. And let's go ahead and start pushing forward across here. And we might be able to get over there real quick with that light tank. We'll try. Uh, and then let's go ahead and have just tanks attacking everywhere, man. And then have uh, some of you guys attack over here. Maybe we'll leave one tank here. All right, so we're not able to get there. Uh, but at the very least, we did lock them down uh, while we try and get to this province here. And let's just go and keep on pu pushing forward with these light tanks. Just trying to get across uh, Korea here. And uh, as quickly as we can. And these guys can just go ahead and stop that attack. And sorry about the loud vehicles going by, guys. It is that time of day. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over here. I know this is, again, into those level 2 forts. But we've got to thicken this up a little bit. Uh, I don't like the way it looks. And I'd like to pull some of these divisions back. And, in fact, I almost want to have the yellow army only focus on down here with the tanks. I think that might be a good idea and then just kind of leave this as is since we're not really attacking much over here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just have the yellow army 
help us out here. Focus on that area. All right, so that looks good. And then the purple army won't have to be down here. And we'll just pull them up so they can just cover up here. All right, excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue our attacks. Uh, again, we're gonna attack right there to just lock troops down and uh, push forward over here. Let's just get to attacking everywhere. All right, beautiful. Okay, uh, the, who is this? Morocco wants a non-aggression pack, whatever, it's fine. Uh, if we join the allies again though, that won't be, uh, none of that will be necessary. Uh, can continue to do anti-democratic raids, which we will because the democracy will keep ticking up because of that modifier we have. Uh, and you can see they're at 12% right now. And just trying to get a non-aligned uh, as high as possible. And we won't, again, we won't be able to get fascism all the way, or excuse me, we won't be able to get uh, democracy all the way down because of that modifier. But we can work on getting, you know, we could probably cut these guys off. We did this a little bit differently. Just tackle one division. We can't get the fascism all, all the way down, though, is what I was saying. Uh, these guys are actually winning here, probably because they all moved on the railroads, perhaps. I don't know, but yeah, they were able to win there. Um, let's go ahead and attack over this way now. Just kind of thicken that area up. And then we're going to go ahead and attack all along here. And I forgot about the other front that we are currently fighting on, so that's another thing we need to uh, take a look at, because we are fighting over here, too. Uh, and it does look like we now can invade into this territory. Uh, we don't have to worry about the Germans that were there. So what I'm going to do is just take a couple divisions uh, from over here and then just move them over to this front, since they don't really have very many divisions over here. Let's give them a couple, a couple divisions here and there, maybe five divisions is what I'm thinking. You know, having a, a mountain troop would be really helpful, though, yeah, we do have other mountain troops. Put them over there. All right, excellent. So uh, let's go ahead and attack. What are we doing over here? I don't even remember. All right, we'll attack into both of these different ways here. And just have these guys attack this way and these two attack over here. I think we were attempting to cut troops off well, where we could. Let's go and attack that way and uh, this way as well. All right, looks pretty solid. Um, let's have this guy here attack over that way. Might not be able to win, but that's okay. Uh, what we'll do is just support with these divisions here. All right, so winning all across there. We'll just peek over there every once in a while. It's not really an important front, uh, so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to it. Uh, we are sinking more Japanese destroyers. Uh, if we keep sinking destroyers as we are without sinking, you know, the capital ships, which we haven't been, uh, then it will allow our submarines to do some significant damage to them. And yeah, we did not get this this army over here quick enough. Uh, these guys are still pretty much. far away, I think. Uh, they're not even moving over there anymore. Let's have them hurry up, man. I think they might have been sitting there for a little while. I'm not entirely sure. We're still moving these guys over here as well. And they're kind of taking taking a while to get here. Uh, and they're planning the naval invasion in the meantime though, so it's not a problem. Let's go and take a look at the air situation, see if anything's changed here. Uh, still can't get control of the whole of my islands as of right now. Uh, that's gonna continue to be a problem, but it'll be really nice once we get control of North Korea here, uh, cause that'll give us more bases to make use of. All right, so still trying to thicken this up just a little bit. Um, these guys are attacking, okay, that's fine. We'll let them continue doing their thing then. And then let's just push forward all across here. Make some damn progress, man. All right, uh, so these guys are now gonna go over this way. Let's push forward all across here. So the uh, purple army, yeah, they're gonna stay here. Um, I'm eventually gonna pull this this army back a little bit though. Uh, let's first get some wins here. And you know what, we can also pull back the, uh, yeah, we'll pull back that army right there as well. A little bit less area they need to cover. Uh, so we can go and attack over here again, just thickening it up. And we'll attack right there as well. Just try and make it so they can't cut us off. Uh, Cause we don't have any con uh, control of any ports just yet. So it could end up becoming a major issue. All right, let's have these guys. Okay, they're still attacking over that way. And they'll come over here. And these tanks are really leading the charge right now. Um, yeah, let's give them military access. Uh, Cause that is gonna cause them supply issues otherwise. Uh, and I don't know what this guy's doing, but we'll let him do it, I guess. Or you just come over here. I don't know if they're gonna attack or not. I suppose we'll find out. I think he's trying to go over to a, hmm. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing, actually. All right, well, I'll let him do his thing. I'm sure he knows, right? All right, so we actually are now losing that attack, but we'll keep it going, though. Uh, we did lose that attack, as expected, and we're actually losing these ones as well. Okay, that's not expected, I'm surprised. So we're now having problems all along this front. I'm not entirely sure why. 
I know we didn't move some divisions off over down to here, and maybe that's what caused the issue. Uh, but yeah, we're not looking too good on that front. All right, well, again, it's not that important, so I want to focus on this attack here and just want to hurry up and get across. Uh, we do need to stretch this out. Oops. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Pressed a button. All right, let's go push forward over here now. Okay, um, so still waiting for these attacks to, to wrap up. Again, we are really just trying to... Uh, let's attack over this way. Uh, again, we're just trying to thicken this up. Uh, so it's not really that important, those attacks. All right, so they are attacking us all across here. And uh, tanks are going to lose there, but hopefully we get some more divisions over there to help them out. It does look like supply is an issue here. Uh, let's take a look, see if we can build up here. Not just yet. We don't have control of any of the victory points here in North Korea. Uh, so you're not really able to do much about that. Uh, let's go here just because there's nobody there. And uh, hopefully you should be able to get these guys cut off from the rest of the country. Uh, they will still have supply, of course, from that port. Uh, but yeah, I think it will be helpful. Uh, more destroyers sunk. Uh, yeah, this is right here. That does not look good. Uh, yes, let's go and attack across here. Um, let's try and cut those guys off. Oh, well, they won't be cut off. That's... Oh, yeah, they will. Uh, Mongolia's right there, and they're still in the combat turn. So, uh, I'll cut those guys off, and let's go and attack over this way, too. Again, just looking for weaknesses. Um, so far, it does look like we did fail that attack. All right, that's kind of interesting. I think it's just these guys got tired. Uh, so let's instead attack with these ones here. That should be a victory. Just trying to get across that river and into those forts there. Uh, we did win there as well. Okay, um, let's go ahead and attack here with some of these divisions in. Just go ahead and support that. Again, just thickening up so they can't just take one province and cut us off, uh, which is what I'm concerned about. All right, so we just need to get troops up on these borders here. Uh, it's taking some time. Uh, let's go ahead and have... I think they're taking the railroads, yeah, so we can beat them. We did get the 1944 submarine holes. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get those uh, constructing. And somebody informed me of something I had. I didn't even know. Uh, apparently, when, and I guess it says that here, um, actually, if you look at it, uh, the submarines use different torpedoes uh, than these ones here. I didn't know that for a long time because I've always gotten the torpedoes first before I got the submarine holes. Uh, so, yeah, when you get the, the newest submarine hold, then those submarines will have the latest uh, torpedo, uh, you know, torpedo tubes. While this one is just for your other ships. I didn't even know that. But it says it right here. Uh, the light ships and uh, the cruisers and stuff, uh, that's that's only for them. So I didn't even know that. Um, so that's, that's good to know for the future. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get these uh, snorkels next. Uh, because, yeah, we are taking heavy submarine casualties. And somebody is ringing my doorbell. And <laughs> nobody else is home, so I'm going to have to check that. All right, that was actually my family coming home. Someone hit the doorbell. Uh, so, I don't remember what I was talking about. Uh, I think we we're going to get the snorkels here. Uh, but one thing, I, I, you know, I could have wrote a little note that I needed to cut that part since it was a couple minutes. Uh, so I wrote a little note, and I realized I had a note here for radar. Uh, I wrote myself a note, and then I still forgot. Because uh, we didn't get the radar stations here. And, I'm, and we have one there. Uh, but man, these would be incredibly helpful, uh, both for our conflict in the air here, uh, as well as locating ships to sink them. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to get these radar here. I'm not going to build one there. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's necessary. We'll build one here, though, for now, I suppose. And we're going to take those up to the top and prioritize those. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is that I did stop construction of most fortifications, since obviously these are just not really needed anymore. All right, so we'll focus on radar stations because I think that'll be helpful. Let's take a look at the, the air war and see if anything's changed. No, not really. They just have, well, we actually have about equal numbers here uh, of fighters, um, but for whatever reason, just not doing well here. Let's take a look and see if the situation and how things are going. So obviously our bombers have been heavily disrupted. Those are the strategic bombers that we have. Uh, but we have done a little bit of bombing. Uh, as far as our number of fighters lost, we've lost 662. They lost uh, 735. So we have killed more of them than they have of us. But that's also because our bombers are shooting them. And our, we've taken heavy bomber losses. So that's that explains that. Uh, as far as... I mean, we have 521. So I'm not going to pull the strategic bombers back right now. We're fine. All right, let's go and dip over here while I'm thinking about it. Uh, clearly going to need to stop that. That's not going to work. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure if we can get any wins across here. 
Uh, we did lose there. Um, or maybe we didn't. Looks like we might have won, actually. Okay, uh, we'll take that then. And let's see if we can get a win here then. Uh, it looks like that should be. And maybe just... I mean, these guys are all pretty weak. But what if we attacked like so with these guys here? I'm trying to select the uh, guy moving here. And then just support it with these other two. Instead of trying to attack it in two different directions at the same time. See if that's going to be a win. Uh, manpower is getting kind of low, guys. We're having some issues with that now. Uh, so that's something to consider. All right, let me see if there's anything we need to do here. Uh, what we may go about doing is going ahead and having the purple army cover a little bit less. So we're going to give these guys a little bit more of a task uh, so that they can uh, we can pull the armies that are here back. And it is thick enough. Or I'm going to do that now, actually. Let's go and pull these guys back. So we don't need to cover that any longer. Uh, still got to get a win here, too. We'll wait till we get the win there so we're not attacking across the river. All right, so let's go and attack. Oops, look, I already was moving there. My bad. I didn't realize that. It's very clear, but I still didn't realize it. Oh, yes, I forgot. Our field marshal here actually has an upgrade. He's got quite a few. Uh, so which one to get? Um, I don't know how many he has available. Uh, but let's just see what we want to do. Uh, plan aim don't really need. Reinforce rate would be great. Uh, but I'm thinking getting something here would be better. Probably the defense for the combined arm expert. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We'll do that, and that's the only one you can get. Uh, we could have done reinforce rate, too. That would have been helpful. Uh, but yeah, I forgot all about that. All right, so these guys are moving over to here, and they're going that way. Uh, could have moved there to cut them off. In fact, you know what? That's what we're... Let me see. How far is he from getting there? It's going to be a while. So let's go and move this guy now. All right, so he's here. Let's see if we can't grab that uh, location. And maybe we can get any troops that are in this little bubble here cut off from supply. Uh, and we are still, of course, bombing their navy all through here. And we at least have a division here to stop them from attacking across while we wait for those paratroopers to get over here. All right, and still waiting for these troops to move. It looks like we did win right there, and we got control of that fortification. Let's take a look if we're winning here. We are. All right, and uh, we did win there as well. Okay. And let's just attack in, like, these easy areas here. Uh, just get some easy wins where they're kind of pulling back. All right, and this front right here is, is kind of problematic right now. Uh, we need to have Purple Army go this way. And maybe, like, have the yellow army cover that until they get there so that these guys can pull back. Uh, well, we will go and attack right there, though. All right. Just waiting for more divisions to get down here. And some of these tanks have moved pretty far ahead of, of the rest of our tanks. And this should create this pocket here because we did take that province there. There we go. So these guys are completely cut off. Any divisions that are here uh, no longer have any supply. Uh, this is going to create multiple fronts, of course, which will get kind of messy. Is what it is, though. Uh, we are getting some wins here. Alright. And let's pull back quite a bit on these guys. The, this will be the Yellow Army's job to kind of help cover this front here. Alright, so that looks pretty good. And then we're going to pull the Purple Army down this way as well. And that should be ready... Not quite. We gotta wait a little bit before we can move these guys uh, down. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's just get them moving. All right, because yeah, we're pretty solid along this front. All right, let me see if there's anything else we need to be aware of around here. Again, it's gonna be kind of slow going. Uh, do we have control of the skies here? Probably not. Yeah, I imagine we don't. Um, let's go and take the planes that are here and move them back into the home islands. That might be enough for us to. Yeah, made it yellow. All right, guys. Awesome, and they have a lot less planes here now too. Okay, finally, getting a little bit of success there. So our strategic, bomb, our strategic bombers should uh, perform much better. Right, let's go and attack them there. And uh, let's get this territory here wrapped up. There is a little bit of area for uh, pushing forward here. A little bit of room. Sorry, I can get across that river there if we can. All right, we're just going to kind of leave this as is for right now. Um, we still got to get uh, across this way before these guys are totally cut off. We will have to reduce the size of the front just a little bit, though. Uh, let's go and attack across here with these guys. And then let's send uh, divisions here. And then just lose these two to lock them down temporarily. 
Uh, and then we're gonna go attack across here now. All right, even if we have some losses, that's okay. Uh, supply is just a massive issue all across here, so it does result in divisions not like moving to the front when they probably should. Uh, but that's, you know, just part of the problem, guys, really. Oh, that guy's not gonna win there. <laughs> Let's go and have him move over here then instead and then attack. Oh, oh, I did something. Trying to have this guy move over here and then attack. There we go, beautiful. All right, uh, so we are losing there now. Uh, so let's just go and pull it back. But we don't want these guys to win here and reconnect them. Just frankly need to wait till we get more divisions down here. I uh, just don't have enough as of right now. And we can pull Purple back again. All right, excellent. And let's also pull these guys back here. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and have all of them come on over to here and here. Uh, we'll just take a couple of them here and go over here and just delete this front for right now and just let the, the yellow army cover it. I know it's going to take them some time to get over here, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about it. They'd have to attack across here, which doesn't look like they're super keen on doing. I want to push forward this way right now. And they're going to keep on trying to attack there to break themselves free. All right, let's go and attack into seal. If I pronounce that right, probably not. <laughs> Damn, a lot of divisions over here. Well, the good thing about them throwing divisions onto this side is that they don't really have great supply. Uh, so they are taking attrition all throughout here. Attacking there would actually increase the size of the front, which is not desirable. Let's instead attack over here. Yeah, we should be able to win there, though. There is somebody going there, so let's attack there. Uh, we also need to get a win here. Um, so we'll just have to wait for a second while we do those other movements. We did lose on that attack there, all right, so that's unfortunate. All right, that front's uh, a little bit stalled. Uh, they're attacking across here now, we do have a division to stop them. Uh, that's good, and we almost have the 20 divisions here. Uh, what we want them to do is like just take the railroads to that location so they get a little bit of organization before they get over to there. Been waiting a long time for those guys though. It's taking them quite, the, quite a while to get over there. All right, uh, so these guys are now gonna try and break out here, so let's go and attack uh, right there and just try and get these guys pushed back. All right, so still winning there. They could very easily reconnect these guys though. Uh, so that's something to watch for. All right, so we did win here. We're now attacking there. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. And uh, then we'll try and get those last divisions there wrapped up. All right, and let's cut that guy off as well. And but invading into Korea, we will go ahead and give access to anybody who wants it. It's fine, we'll give non-aggression packs. Uh, yeah, we'll do all these. I think somebody told me enter is accept. I always wasn't sure if enter would accept it or not, uh, so I didn't use it. But yeah, somebody notified me that it does. All right, is there anything else we need to be aware of? Let's take a look at the skies. I do control here. Um, all right, that's a problem. What we might wanna go ahead and do is have some of the planes that are in Manchuria Help us out here uh, so we can uh, make sure we don't, you know, get that penalty there. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let's go ahead and prioritize it. And uh, are we invading into here just yet? No, we're not. All right. Uh, so these guys are cut off and destroyed, or should be. Let's go and finish that up. Uh, and these guys can stay here. And yeah, Same with these guys. I don't know what they're doing. Stay here, though. Uh, and we could try and cut off right here. There's definitely an opportunity to do that, so let's let's try and make it happen. Uh, we're going to attack over this way, and then we're going to take the, this division and just have them attack there just to lock them down for a short amount of time. Uh, we do want to break out across over here, so let's just attack with all these divisions here. And looking for other opportunities. Not really much of anything around here. Uh, let's have... These guys pull back a bit after they finish that attack. All right. And I don't know what they're doing. Stop that. Stop the madness, man. All right, so this has been seized. Um, let's see if we can beat these guys here. It's going to be five hours away. Uh, yeah, it does look like we win there. All right, so just waiting for that one to get wrapped up over here. Let's have these guys all come down to this province. Uh, those were at least one division there that we did destroy. So I'm going to go there. Uh, we don't have a, a planning bonus over here, so that's a problem. Uh, we'll wait till uh, we can do it now. Just try and get all Korea taken in that airbase, which will uh, give us another airbase to attack the home islands from. 
where we're still just not able to get control of the skies yet, which is necessary if you want to drop paratroopers and if we want to drop nukes, all that is necessary. Speaking of nukes, we do have four, uh, so any ones that look like we're having some difficulty, maybe we'll go ahead and, and use them there, uh, though it doesn't look like there are any. Uh, what about over here? Maybe we could use a nuke here. No, we don't have tactical bombers within range, I don't think. Or excuse me, uh, strategic bombers within range. Uh, and we actually aren't even using any close air support here. So that's a problem. Let's go and get some. I didn't realize that. And we do have close air support, so there's no reason not to. In fact, I think we actually have close air support threes. So that will help us out tremendously. I didn't realize we didn't have any close air support. I think we were worried about supply, perhaps. I don't know. All right, so we're going to do a 600. And then that should be enough for now. Even though we do have a good amount of uh, close air support. All right, excellent. So that should allow us to, to fight a lot better over here. And we've had some, some difficulties prior. Uh, and I'm even going to go ahead and attack over here. Well, let me see if I can even drop nukes. We can't. All right. Let's just pull that back then. Uh, the strategic bombers are just too far away. All right, so we won there. Let's go and attack these guys now. All right, and uh, these guys here are cut off as well. Let's go and have uh, these guys go. Oh, uh, they're having some difficulty. Oh, they're defending. Okay, and uh, these guys are gonna get across this river here. And just taking these tanks a long time to get down here. Uh, and let's go ahead and have... Let's have this yellow army pull back a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is thick enough. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Really just want to push forward over here. Uh, let's just take a look and see if there's anything we need to be aware of over here. Uh, we could get a win here. Uh, there's also a win there, perhaps. A possibility to win. Still attacking over that way. And again, just trying to get these guys cut off with these two attacks here. Uh, that should be completed. All right, what if we attacked over this way? Would that be a win? Yeah, it would be. We could also drop a nuke, but not enough uh, not enough divisions there to justify dropping a bomb, I feel. Uh, let's go and attack across here now. Hopefully no divisions move over there in the meantime. All right, so they're going to take that, and then we'll wipe out those divisions. It does look like they're about to reconnect here, so that's a problem. Uh, can we get there before them? Uh, they'll get there in three days, nine hours. Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Uh, I'll be there in 16 hours. All right, let's go and have these guys come over this way, and um, have them attack from over here, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep on moving down here. I want to cut uh, these guys off from their supply, too. And uh, let's go ahead and attack over here. And we should be able to now... I think both of these guys are moving over here. But let's go ahead and have this guy move here and attack those uh, that division there. All right, uh, so he's pushing forward. Let's go ahead and have this division here support that attack. Get it done a little bit quicker. All right, let's go and try and cut these divisions off here. Korea is a great place for cutting divisions off. We did get the jet strategic bombers. Uh, let's go ahead and go after. All right, so we got those. We'll have to get those building. Uh, we'll make use of them. Don't. Yeah, we we could go for jet fighters. That is gonna take a long time to get those though. Let's see if there's anything else we can do in the meantime. Uh, we could go ahead and go after, well, we're not doing tactical bombers, strategic bombing yet. Well, uh, let's see if there's anything else here for us. I don't even know what all we need at this point. Um, I guess we can just keep on working on, oh, I meant to get the newer submarines. Damn. All right, so we'll have to do that. Uh, so let's see what else we want to get. I guess we get passive bonuses. See if anything helps us out over here. Uh, these are all guns, all stuff that we'd have to get if we wanted to build some any ships. I don't even think we'll need them, though, at this point. Yeah, I really don't think we're going to need them. Uh, let's just do this one, firefighting drills, and we'll even spend a little bit of experience for that. And also, let's go ahead and get the uh, new submarines out there. Uh, so let's make sure that we got all the best here. Oops. Uh, we got the fours. Yeah, see, I had no idea that the, the torpedo tubes were tied to the uh, attack. Uh, so that's good to know. Uh, and then the submarine holes, or were tied to the submarine tech. Historical submarines, and I think we are good to go. Everything's fours. So let's call these attack subs. Four. Ashe. Alright, so let's save that. And we're gonna get these uh, 
building. We're gonna do two of them. And find them here. All right, so let's go ahead and have these move down below, and then we'll just put the full dockyards into them. Just build one more each of these. Um, well, that one's basically, you know what? I'm not gonna build one old one when they're that close, uh, when we're so far from being done. All right, so I don't remember where we're putting these. Um, I think we're putting them here. All right, and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is have our, yeah, you see, this is why we haven't, uh, the numbers haven't been going up, is because we have been losing subs. All right, now let's go move all these guys over to here. Oops, I meant to move them all. And uh, give them submarine. And in fact, since these are, ah, we'll leave them, that's fine. I'm not gonna get too confusing with it. It's gonna do something different, but yeah, I'm not. It's it's not a, anything to be worried about, guys. Let's go ahead and do convoy rating, and then split these two, and do convoy rating. All right, so get new submarines over there, because as you can see, we just can't, uh, and we don't need to cover all this, so that would actually give us more uh, sh submarines over in this area. We won't go in the Sea of Japan just yet. We don't we don't have any air support there, so I don't think it would go well. All right. So let's continue pushing down here. Um, well, let's cut these guys off first, cause just cause it'd be easier. And uh, take all these guys and have them come over here. Same with all of these divisions here. Get your butts down here. That should be taken soon. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and get them cut off from supply. And then we'll see if there's anything we need to do up here in this area. Those divisions have been wiped out now. Uh, so we're still trying to work on getting these guys. All right, we actually are about to do that now. Uh, so let's just have one division stay here. And that'll cut off all the troops that are here. Um, they're not even attempting to leave just yet. All right, and then we'll want to get them wiped out. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and start with attacking. Let's attack here and then drop. Oh, well, we can't. Do we not control the skies now? There are no nukes dropping. Hmm. All right, I'm not entirely sure why we can't drop one. We should be able to. Oh, we don't have 75%. Okay, that's surprising that we're at 75%. We're at 65. So pretty close, but not quite there. Uh, because we moved all these planes over here, that's right. All right, well, hmm. Let's see, maybe we'll go ahead and add uh, a few more fighters here. I know that we have them, uh, some more jet fighters. Just gonna get them out there. Oops. All right, and see if that'll step it up so that we can drop that bomb right here. Again, it will take them a little while to deploy. Maybe we'll go ahead and stop this attack until then. then. All right, some of them are attempting to leave though. Uh, all right. So just need to get there so that all those divisions will be cut off from supply. Uh, we could go ahead and try and attack here. Uh, it doesn't look like that'll be successful though, so let's just go ahead and stop it. Uh, let's go ahead and dip over to this front real quick and see if there's anything we can do over here. Uh, yes, uh, we were moving here, I thought. Uh, apparently that got stopped somehow. Moved over somebody over there or whatever. All right, let's attack right there now. And also, this would really reduce the size of the front quite a bit. So let's go and attack right there, and that should be a win. Okay, um, so caught some troop convoys there. The Russians did. All right, so these guys are now cut off from supply. Let's go and work on getting them attacked. Getting some wins here. And these guys are going to go straight over to here. All right, so just try and get these divisions here wrapped up. Attack them there now. And it's pretty easy. I don't have any supplies, so I guess that's expected. Uh, let's go and attack them this way now. All right. Yeah, really pushing forward across Korea. Fairly easy, I and mean, it's just not been uh, it's not been too challenging. Uh, oops. All right, let's go this way. And uh, try and get to the port real quick. Uh, though it does look like the port might be the only thing that's actually defended at the moment. All right, so let's go and dip back up. This one's been concentrating over here. And the Allies just have so many members, it's just going to take forever to give them. Everybody's going to ask for access, and everybody's going to ask for a, uh, you know, a pact to not attack each other. Um, still moving here. 
and nobody moving to stop us just yet. Uh, we did take this, this province here. Let's go ahead and have uh, these guys attack over this way now. Just try and find other paths to attack that way. Try and cut these guys off here. But yeah, I just want to cut all the troops off uh, up there. I don't want to have to fight them all. I think that would probably not go well. Uh, having to fight them all the way across China. That would be exhausting. Uh, the tanks are doing great pushing forward here. Uh, we are making very rapid progress. All right, so let's go ahead and hurry up and try and get to the capital now. Or to the, excuse me, to the, uh, the port. Uh, and we are not actually winning there. All right, let's go and grab these up and attack across there now. Although their ships could technically stop us, they probably won't. All right, so let's go here and here. Try and get the attack going. Actually, let's just attack from that side. And uh, we should be able to get that port in mere moments. Okay, and that'll allow us to build another air base over here. It doesn't look like they have one there. Uh, and we want to build it, might want to build the supply up there as well. All right, so, uh, oops, damn it. We're here clicking like crazy. Uh, so we need to get the jet tactical bombers now. And we're not even gonna bother building tactical bombers because yeah, we're just gonna use the jet ones. Uh, and uh, that does remind me, we did not get the um, jet strategic bombers. Uh, so let's put these, put them under here, and then we're just gonna pull back on these by quite a bit. Instead, put them into here. Uh, looks like we're a little bit short on tungsten. Might need to trade for that. Uh, let's see if we're short on any other equipment. Uh, Anti-tanks is actually really, really short. Uh, I think it's because we only have one factory going towards that right now. Uh, we have taken some losses. Uh, so we're going to want to build up more anti-tanks. So we'll do that now. Looks like medium tanks are also kind of low, though we are kind of moving to replace those. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put a little bit more into it. It's fine. We can just trade for the tungsten, I think. Um, let's see if there's anything else. We want. Well, you know what? We're going to do that. We'll just switch them over if it becomes necessary. Uh, what was it? The anti-tanks. That's right. Uh, let me see if I can find these. Uh, anti-tanks. Let's go ahead and do 10 towards that. And then we'll pull back on the artillery a little bit. And we'll require a little bit less tungsten. And looking solid. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Uh, let's actually, we're not even building any more of these, so we can pull back from that a bit. Alright, although those are not resources that we're short on. Uh, let's go and trade more with the Portuguese for that tungsten. Luckily tungsten is something that we are able to trade for. Alright, and yeah, just not concerning myself with attacking across here just yet because I want to get uh, the Korean situation finished up. Alright, so about to have that port, and let's take a look. Um, we should have control of this, we do. Uh, and we can go ahead and build up all across here now. And then, most importantly, we want to build up the, the air bases here. Uh, so let's go ahead and tick those up to the top. And then just move some of them down. Uh, the, the infrastructure can be moved down a bit. It's not that important. All right, awesome. Uh, we do want those air bases built, those, those are a priority. Okay, so just trying to finish this up and I forgot we were fighting over here. I keep forgetting about this front, it's just not very important. Uh, and oh yes, I forgot about over here too. We got these guys cut off. Uh, so we want to go and attack now. I don't know if we have access to nukes. We do. All right, so let's go and make use of those. And we're going to go and try and get uh, the divisions that are here wrapped up and defeated. Attack over here. We may attack across the river here. Just trying to get get some of this done, guys. Uh, and I'm not even going to concern myself with, with this here. Uh, though we should be able to easily win right there. Alright, and we'll support that. And should be able to get these guys here cut off, though it does look like we might have some problems that I think somebody's going to stop us uh, from being able to con uh, conduct that. Uh, let's go and support that attack. Alright, so we need to get all these guys wrapped up. We're going to go and attack cross rivers here, I don't care. Just get it done, man. Alright, and we did bomb them, and that resulted in an easy win. All right, and uh, yeah, a lot of troop convoys being sunk. Japanese troop convoys is there over here sending sending their troop convoys all across and mass back and forth probably. Who knows which direction they're even going at this point. Uh, so let me see how we're looking over here. So I don't know if we can actually win here, uh, but if we use the nuke, we might be able to, though we don't control the skies. All right, well, we don't need to. All right, so we have them attacking across there. 
So, uh, let me just take a look and see if anything's changed in the air. Not really. Uh, so, we're going to start attacking up this way now. Uh, let's go ahead and take this army here. And then have them... Uh, they're going to be the main focus here on attacking up here to get all the troops in Manchuria cut off. And again, this is just a temporary thing. As we wait to be able to invade Japan. Uh, so we have our troops that are coming over here. And we'll just have to see... I think it's these guys here, and they have 35 of 84 days finished planning. Uh, so it's going to be a little while. All right, so these guys are going to move up that way. Uh, they could invade Korea, uh, so we'll have to keep our eye uh, on this. They could technically invade anywhere. Uh, we did sink more destro uh, destroyers over here, Japanese destroyers, three and four. Okay, excellent. And we are having some problems here, and we can nuke them, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, so yeah, just trying to get this territory here wrapped up. Man, there's an opening here, so let's go and attack. Let's start pushing forward across this territory. This guy actually might get the win, which will allow us to destroy uh, that division there. And uh, let's get all these divisions here destroyed. Uh, it does look like we're already winning all across here. Alright, let's go and push forward that away. And uh, as well as this way. Now, obviously, we don't want to push them back too much. Since, remember, we're trying to cut them off here. Uh, I don't know if we're about to get across. We'll just wait till we get our tanks over here. There's nobody using the push forward just yet. Alright, yeah, I don't really... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep going this way. Uh, so just get the tanks up here, uh, get their organization back up, and then we'll do attacks across that way. Uh, let's like, take a look at the situation over here. Uh, still trying to get some damn wins here, man. I'm having some difficulty doing that. Uh, let's go and have these guys attack and see if we can't cut off here. And cut off uh, four total divisions there. Uh, so let's also... Uh, I don't know if this guy can win, but we'll try. No, we cannot win there. All right, um, and then we have this uh, area here. I feel like we got more than enough divisions here to defend, but can we attack? Looks like perhaps. Okay, just kind of looking at the, the rest of the world since, remember, the Allies are going to be doing invasions all across here. You see they got an invasion going there. Uh, but yeah, not as many invasions as I was expecting at this point. Uh, I thought they'd start trying to take back some of this territory they lost. Uh, but again, the Allies have been pretty useless in this campaign. Uh, they haven't been all that helpful. All right, so just waiting for organization to get up there. Uh, do we have control of the skies here? Yeah, we do. Okay. So we can use a nuke there if need be. Uh, and we sunk another destroyer. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the fronts. Change this over to here. Uh, and then we're going to... Well, looks like we want to send most of our divisions over that way. I think that's where most of them have retreated to, which is going to allow us to cut them off. Oh, and we lost that air base, which that has also probably affected things uh, pretty hardcore here. You know, let's do eight divisions this way and twelve divisions that way, and then just get a planning bonus here. Okay, uh, so once we get control of that airbase again, we can move some of these planes that are probably like well, I don't even know where they all moved to actually. And yeah, we had a bunch of planes there. <laughs> I don't know where they moved to. <laughs> all right, uh, but I'm sure that causes us lots of problems. Let's go and dip back over to here. Does look like we are losing there. Damn it. All right, you know what, guys? I'm going to go and put a division over here since uh, I thought we'd be able to push forward there, and we have not been able to. We had had, had zero success in that. All right, well, when does this guy leave? Uh, nah, not long enough, or not short enough. Uh, so I want to cut all these guys off here. Though I think we might have pushed them back all across here. We need to go and attack here. Uh, let's make sure that they don't leave. And let's attack with these guys, too. Just in case somebody else moves there. All right, uh, these guys are now cut off from supply. Let's go and attack. Uh, nope, they're not cut off from supply yet. All right, hold up. My bad, guys. I thought they were. They are not. All right, they are trying to leave. When do they leave? Can't even see. Let's take a look. All right, it's going to be a couple days, uh, so we got some time. Uh, so are these guys wrapped up yet? Not yet. Let's finish them up. But yeah, we did kill a lot of divisions over here. So that'll be uh, super helpful in the long run, I feel. So I'll take some divisions here and attack. 
All right, just trying to get this wrapped up so those guys will be cut off from supply. And if a couple days pass here, we might have to attack them to stop them from leaving. Uh, I feel like we're probably ready. Let's go and attack. And again, we can nuke if we have to. And we will. We got one, one nuke left, guys. All right, let's see if we snuck a destroyer. We did. So that's gonna that's gonna cost them, guys. All those destroyers that they're they're losing. Uh, I imagine they're gonna eventually not have uh, enough escorts. All right, still trying to win over there. About to grab that province there. Everything's just fairly slow, guys, uh, on that province on that front. Uh, one, because we're going really slow, and of course, then there's also the point that uh, those states are pretty large. Uh, already across here, uh, so let's go and start pushing forward again, same way as we did before in Korea. Let's go ahead and get these guys moving across here. Okay, making good progress. I wish we didn't have to attack here at all, that we could just do the invasion of, of Japan, but yeah, it's just not really an option at the moment. Um, but once we get control of the skies, we can drop paratroopers, if we ever get control of the skies. Uh, and we just got a lot of work to do in order to get their fleet destroyed. Another convoy sunk there. All right, so our, it looks like our submarines have now reached down there. Let's see if we built any more. Uh, we have not, all right. Oh, these guys aren't actually doing their task yet. Or they're repairing. Yeah, they're currently repairing. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go and keep on pushing forward here. And avoid kind of attacking across. You know, I might not even, yeah, I think we're gonna do this a little bit different. Hmm, that would be the best way to do this. Let's pull this army back some. So that they can then cover a little bit more of this purple front. Uh, and we're going to also pull these guys back as well. All right, so they are, in fact, attacking us across here. All right, so that's a problem. Let's go and pull these guys back. Yeah, we are having some issues there. Just need to get more divisions over here, I think. And, you know what, we're going to attack that way just to help them out. All right, and let's go and attack over here. All right, just kind of dip back over here and see if we've finished this up yet. Uh, we ended up winning there. I didn't want to. I was trying to cut them off. Uh, these guys are cut off, though, so we can get them destroyed. And uh, it looks like we won there as well. And we're just going to go ahead and attack across here just to get those two divisions uh, wiped out. All right. And we might actually be able to win now. They put a lot of divisions back. Okay, so we'll try. Let's see what we got here. Two more Japanese convoys sunk. And it looks like it is about the end of the episode here. I think we're going to go ahead and end it now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and end it now. Uh, take a look at what we sunk there. We got another destroyer sunk. And we do have the air base here, so we need to move all those planes wherever the hell they move to, which I'm not entirely sure where they moved to. Uh, let's take a look and see if we can't figure this out, uh, where they moved. Because, uh, yeah, they... Oh, they moved here. Got it. All right, so we need to move them uh, back to their location. Uh, so... I don't know. I mean, you see that this is just overstacked. Uh, some of it is because of the divisions or the air wings that we have that move there, but a lot of these, that is not the case. Okay. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. All right, let's go move these guys over here. And uh, because we have a little space open, we'll continue pumping divisions over there. Uh, I don't know where all these guys came from uh, or where they're supposed to be. I know that we had, I thought we had more planes there, perhaps not. I think they all came to here, actually. This has got to be it, right? That's the way it looks. So let's just go ahead and move them elsewhere. Uh, like over to here. That should help. I can move in like another 200 uh, over to there. Yeah, looks like we are way overstaffed here. All right, we're going to need to let those guys move around. Let's see how this looks now after we've moved those air wings. Uh, but we are building those air bases up there, so that'll help a lot, give us a lot more uh, space for, for planes. Uh, this is going to be the end of the episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it here. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Uh, we will go and take a look at the casualties. Uh, I forgot about that. So the UK has lost 2.12 million. Uh, let's see who else is, has some high casualties here. Uh, Mexico, 1.01 million. United States, 3.17 million. All right, looking at us, guys, we have only taken 46,000 casualties. That is it. 33.6 by the Japanese. Now take a look at what we've done to the Japanese. 1.2 million. Uh, UK has done 1.8 million. 
Uh, United States, 1.1. Wow, man, we are doing great. Uh, and remember, we're also fighting them here. Uh, we did 410,000 casualties to them. Uh, another 21,000. I mean, we are just, we're barely taking any casualties at this point, guys. Uh, now, the losses are much higher on our side, and that's largely because of the, the high American and, and British losses early in the conflict. Uh, but we do have the higher field and manpower at this point. Uh, and yeah, Japan is just, uh, they still have a ton of divisions absolute ton of divisions. We'll have to take a look at their manpower situation, but yeah, they've they've taken some pretty hefty losses. We'll look at that now, guys. Uh, let's see what they got left. Uh, a lot. Uh, you know, perhaps as much as 3 million, so they're not running out of manpower anytime soon, guys. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, things are going very well, taking very low casualties compared to all the other enemies that we're fighting. Uh, looks like, yeah, the British have also launched an invasion there, and so yeah, the, the British are kind of taking care of India for us, uh, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, I don't want to invade all the way into China, guys. I have no desire to do that. I'm just trying to cut these troops off here and create like a shortened front. Uh, so we'll have like two short fronts. And we'll fight as long as we have to in China. But the idea is to, to invade Japan and get the win there. Uh, we'll probably set up an invasion uh, on this side of things as well. Uh, this is a largely infantry army. Uh, what we'll want to do is probably take the yellow army perhaps and set up another invasion. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll want to probably get another invasion going, guys, because uh, I don't think one will be enough. Uh, but yeah, this is the end of the episode. I hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching, guys.